definitely going to be a lot of information thrown at you about a lot of different companies. You know, these are going to be dupes for Lime Crimes products, mainly her Velveteens on her Venus palette. I know those are her big two coveted products that people want from Lime Crime. So I'm going to cover those. If you guys don't know, um, the Lime Crime website was hacked. And so, myself included, you know, a lot of people lost a lot of money from their credit card. And, uh, you know, due to hackers. And I totally understand that happens to a lot of companies. What made me really kind of stop wanting to support Lime Crime was the way that it was handled. Claims have been happening since October of 2014. They gave a very vague Instagram post and I think it's very, very unprofessional to try to hide it and delete comments and try to keep it very hush-hush. I think something as important as that, a mass email should have gone out right away saying, hey, check your cards, you know, check your bank accounts. I definitely think that could have been done. What my concern is, is that I am possibly marketing a brand of products to my supporters, my followers, and you know, you guys could have been at risk. So I don't want to promote to my followers and the people that, you know, support me and that I love about a brand that has really terrible customer service and is very unprofessional. Lime Crime, when I first started getting into makeup, was one of the first companies, you know, I really liked and I really kind of looked up to, you know, it was so unique and different and I really did love their lipsticks and then I started out trying their Velveteens and I loved those as well. But when it comes down to this, this is all just business-wise. You know, I don't support the way that Lime Crime has been handling their business lately. This is not a video telling you guys to not use Lime Crime. If you guys still support Lime Crime, that is 1000% okay. It, this video is mainly just about me and how I feel and my choice to not promote their products anymore. So getting onto the dupes a little bit. I am going to show you kind of a mix of things. I'm going, I have some of the products on me that, you know, are very close dupes of certain products from Lime Crime, but I also don't have some as well. So what I've done is I've done a lot of research, you know, I was sitting on my phone really researching what other people have used to kind of duplicate products, and so the things that I don't have, I will tell you about. So this video will be just kind of some information and some swatches to let you know what you can do instead of using Lime Crime if you choose to not support Lime Crime either. Before we go into the swatches, I also just kind of wanted to talk about all of the cosmetics brands that I will be featuring right now so that every time I do a swatch, I'm not like, oh, see, look, it's so pigmented, blah, blah, blah. So we can just go over it now and get it over with. Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This brand is absolutely amazing. I support them 100,000%. I know that personally some people may have some, you know, opinions about Jeffree Star, but this video is, we're kind of basing this off, off of a business aspect. Whenever I have been kind of watching Jeffree Star Cosmetics on their Instagram page, you know, they're very, very attentive to their customers. I also really enjoy that he's been very good about release dates. I find that extremely important because not everyone has money just floating around to be able to throw at makeup. You know, some people do have to save up for a $20 lipstick or to kind of splurge and treat themselves. So I think it's very important to let your, cons your customers know when you are going to be releasing a product. On March 13th, there are two new shades coming out that are limited edition and Weirdo the Black is coming back. And then in April, they will all be restocked again as well. Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks. These ones, I don't have many of them, but for the ones that I do have, I do really like. They go on kind of creamy to matte, and they do stay very well. I also like Dose of Colors because, I don't know if you can see that, but they have a little bit of a curved, I almost said here, a curved applicator. So it's easier for me because I do overline my lips. And so it's easier for me to just really kind of get to where I want the line to be. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Everything they put out, I just cry because they're so freaking great. Like you think, oh shit, they've already dominated the brow game. Oh, what else could they do? What? Liquid lipsticks? Holy shit. And they come out with so many fucking colors. Amazing. Kat Von D. 
I absolutely love all the products. You know, I've tried quite a few from her, mainly the liquid lipsticks, because, you know, Lime Crime is always sold out, and it's so hard to get your hands on Lime Crime. And, you know, I was getting so bored and tired of it, and I wanted more liquid to matte lipsticks. And these are actually the second ones I ever tried after Lime Crime. And, uh, or, they were the first ones I ever tried after Lime Crime. Super pigmented, beautiful colors. LA Splash Cosmetics. To be completely honest with you guys, I don't know a whole lot about this brand as a whole. I know that their products are very inexpensive and they come out with, you know, they have quite a few. They have a big variety. They have a ton of beautiful colors. My favorite from them is a liquid to matte lipstick that's green called Nagini from Harry Potter represents. They stay on amazing. I mean, they are very, very pigmented and stay on great. But I have a hard time sometimes getting past the smell. They smell like paint. And, um, you know, not all lipsticks smell that great anyways. But once they dry, that smell is completely gone if you guys are a little wary about it. Color payoff is so worth it that it doesn't bother me if I have to wait 30 seconds of it kind of smelling not that great. I also have Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. I have other ones from them, but... I definitely do like these products. You know, they are very inexpensive. They're $11, which is awesome. But I do feel they feather a tiny bit whenever I wear them. So here we have Wicked from Lime Crime. This is Jeffree Star Cosmetics Unicorn Blood. Currently sold out, but it will be back in April. Dose of Colors Black Rose. Anastasia Beverly Hills Heathers, Anastasia Beverly Hills Vamp, LA Splash Cosmetics Smitten Lip Tint in Ravenclaw. Here we have Lime Crimes Black Velvet Velveteen, LA Splash Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Venom, and Jeffree Star Cosmetics in Weirdo. Abby J Makeup actually said a really great thing if you guys follow her. She called it liquid leather. That's like fucking perfect for it. This is Red Velvet from Lime Crime. Now on the bottom is Red Rum from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. On the bottom now is Bloodline from Anastasia Beverly Hills, her liquid lipsticks. We have Cashmere from Lime Crime. Celebrity Skin from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Ghoulish from LA Splash Cosmetics. This is definitely more of a gray tone and this will be a little bit more of a tan. With Salem, I unfortunately do not have a dupe for it with me, but if you try out Spellbound from LA Splash Cosmetics, it's going to be a little bit more of a darker brown, but if you are looking for a matte chocolatey brown dupe for Salem, that's what it would be. It's actually kind of interesting because Vamp from Anastasia Beverly Hills, it almost looks like if Salem and Wicked had a baby, it would be Vamp. So here you see Salem and Wicked and then Vamp. So Vamp is just a little bit more of a red toned brown, but if you just mix the two, they had a baby and boom, Vamp. This is Pansy. A nice little poiple. Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is an I'm Royalty. Next, we have Pre Zombie Cosmetics in Three Witches. This last one is Kat Von D's LUV. For the pinks, we have Lime Crime Makeup's Pink Velvet, Jeffree Star Cosmetics Prom Night, Anastasia Beverly Hills Karina. Anastasia Beverly Hills Party Pink and Anastasia Beverly Hills Sweet Talker. We are now going to go with the coveted Venus palette from Lime Crime Cosmetics. As you can see, it, oh, you can see my camera. As you can see, it has all of these kind of earthy tones, um, neutrals that are red and different colors. So, I'm going to talk about a few dupes that I have and a few that you could try that I've seen others use. With this Venus palette, we're just going to go down the row, talking about each color as I go. So starting with Venus, 
and ending with Muse. Starting with Venus, we have a shimmery kind of red-brown shade. Samantha from Battle Ash. She actually just posted a picture on Instagram recently of dupes for the Venus palette. And I was looking through my kit for some other alternatives as well. I did not find any that really matched up. So she posted that from Zoeva Cosmetics, Copper Plate Eyeshadow is a great alternative to this Venus shade. First up, we have Shell from Lime Crime Cosmetics. Then I went with Amelie from the Melt Cosmetics Love Sick Eyeshadow Stack. It's a little bit more on the yellow side compared to the Shell, which is a little pinkier orange. And then I also added in a loose pigment, which is from Sugar Pill, called Charmy. Here we have Aura from Lime Crime, and it's going to be a shimmery, kind of off-white, yellow-toned shade. Right here, I'm going to have Bling from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. It's not quite as yellow, but it's still very shimmery and off-white and pretty. Then we have Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek, and that has a little bit more of a cream tone to it. Here we have Creation from Lime Crime Venus Palette and Anastasia Beverly Hills Morocco Eyeshadow. On top I have Icon from Lime Crime and on bottom I paired it with Too Faced Triple Fudge. This is from the Chocolate Bar from Too Faced. You can also pair this with Anastasia Beverly Hills Rich Brown. This is Rebirth from Lime Crime. And this is Mango Tango from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. This is Divine from the Venus Palette. And Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach. Lastly, we have Muse from the Venus Palette. And Love Sick from the Melt Cosmetics Love Sick Eyeshadow Stack. Thank you guys as always for watching my videos. And if you know any other dupes for any Lime Crime products, go ahead and let me know down below. You know, let's let's share the information. Help a sister out. And a brother. To all the brothers watching. Let's help each other out. I didn't have my coffee this video. So now I'm feeling kind of empty. Empty inside my soul.